You know, life's such a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> Shout out West Africa, rep your country. I know there's 17 countries down in West Africa there. Is it 17 countries? I think it is 17 countries. Rep it. Rep it hard. Jollof rice. I know you guys know what jollof rice is. If you guys don't know what jollof rice is, you guys are missing out. <laughs> Let me show you how easy it is to make the best jollof rice. My twist, my take on it. Eva, don't blink. Let's start with this. Two tablespoons of olive oil going in. I got one whole red onions chopped up. All we're gonna do, saute this until it becomes nice and caramelized. Time to make our red sauce. So, one red bell pepper in. Four diced tomatoes going in. Now let's go two bell peppers going in. One habanero. I don't have scotch burnet. The only close to scotch burnet I could find is a habanero. So I got one habanero going in. Just toss everything in. Blend this up. Once you got it blended, push it to the side. Once I got my onions nice and caramelized, I got three bay leaves going in. One heaping scoop of tomato paste. Put that in. A teaspoon of ginger powder. And a teaspoon of dry thyme. I'm gonna take my red mixture. Just dump it in. Then I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of chicken noir or chicken powder. You wanna go in with half a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. Got long grain rice here that's been soaking and rinsed twice, and I'm just gonna dump it in. I got five cups of this. To this, I'm gonna add in two cups of water. Once this catches a nice simmer, I'm gonna drop the heat down to a low. I'm gonna take my lid, close this up for 20 to 25 minutes. My twist, my take on, I wanna say Ghana, Ghana, shout out to Ghana, fried chicken. So, I got one onion here, one habanero, one ginger, four cloves of garlic, two cups of water, one heaping scoop of chicken noir. Blend that up. Take that mixture, I'm gonna dump it in. I'm gonna let that just soak for a bit for about 30 minutes before it start boiling it. 30 minutes in, boil this for about 20 to 25 minutes. Last thing, I got some coconut oil. Last time I made fried plantains, and some of you guys told me to cook my plantains in coconut oil. Once I got my coconut oil nice and heated, I got some plantains here that are pretty ripe already. When I bought the plantain, the plantain was yellow, so in the end of it, guys, it's just gonna be a sweeter, more delicious, more nutritious, fried plantain in the end. And we got some coconut oil into the mix too. And it's organic. <laughs> and it's super healthy, right? Right? <laughs> too much of anything is bad, just remember that guys. Even if it's good. All right, everybody in the pool, I don't care if they can swim, just gotta get in. 25 minutes in, I'm gonna check out my jollof rice. Looking good, looking really good. I'm gonna stir this baby up. Minutes into the plantain, I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna squish them. Take a plantain, take a plate, squish it down. Perfect. Next. Plantain, plate, squish it down. Perfect. <laughs> Once you got these nice and flat now, I'm just gonna throw in again. 25 minutes in guys, our chicken is done and I'm just patting this dry because if you guys remember, hot oil and water does not mix. Alright, so you guys gotta be careful. So I'm not patting all of it out, I'm just like dabbing, dabbing the surface out. And plus guys, if you dab the surface out, you'll get a better crisp too, in the end. My oil's heated guys, all I'm gonna do, just to keep it on the safe measure, I'm gonna put it on where the fire was not on. I'm gonna push this on just to protect myself. <laughs> Alright, take your chicken, hopefully you pat it dry guys. If you didn't, get ready to get burned, I promise you. All right, into the kiddie pool. I don't care if they can swim. We just gotta get it out. Frying time, desire crispiness. See, guys, ow, 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 ow. Guys, see, I'm telling you guys, water and hot oil does not mix. So please be careful. You see that? It's just a bit of water in there. It's just a bit of water in there, so please be careful, right? Just dunk them into the pool. The kiddie pool is dangerous, guys. 
<laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm not kidding, guys. Just a bit of water, like this much water in hot oil pretty much go a very long way. Look at it. Look at the oil just splattering all around. So please, guys, please be careful, all right? Back onto the fire there. Now I'm just gonna crisp this up. It's already cooked, guys. You just gotta crisp it up. That's all it is. What you guys desire crispiness? Pull them out. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. The setup. So we got a jollof rice. Just beautiful. I'm gonna pack it into this bowl here. Put this right over here. Looking beautiful. <laughs> Fan out some fried plantains. Lastly, our Guyanese. Is it guy? Are you guys called Guyanese or Guyan? Ganas? Ganans? Ganinians? Fried chicken. Lastly, just some green onion on top. Just for some kala. There it is, guys. My twist, my take on West African jollof rice and Guyanese fried chicken with some plantain. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. Let's get into this, guys. I'm pumped for this. Here, a little orange juice just to clear up any sinus. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. This day, I'm feeling a little better, guys. I can taste maybe. I want to say 70%, 60%, yeah, 60% of my taste buds are coming back, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> Thank you guys, I appreciate you guys for looking out yesterday, guys. And all we're going to do now is eat. Let me make you guys a plate, all right? Since you guys were so kind to me yesterday, I got you guys a plate. Some fried plantain and a piece of fried chicken. Oh, that's a small one, right? I got you guys. A big one right here. All right, put out your hand. Quick time. <laughs> what I want to try first, Guyanese, is it Guyanese? Gargana fried chicken. Why did I say Guyanese? Guyanese is another culture, isn't it? Ghana. Guys, Ghana fried chicken. Guyana? Guy I don't know. <laughs> I apologize, guys. Quick time. I just got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Hopefully I taste 60 or 70 percent of this. Let's do this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know what I'm pumped about? Tasting awesome food. <laughs> That's it. Jell of rice. Quick time, guys. I think I added a little too much water, but. It's still all good when it dries up. See, you can still see the grains. It's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is awesome jollof rice. I made jollof rice, I think, a long time ago. I think it was last year. And I think I added ketchup to this, and you guys freaked out. I want to say it was my little twist and take on it, but I shouldn't have added the ketchup to it. Mmm. This is amazing. Mmm. -hmm. Fried plantain. Let's go. Yes. Pump this. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. Next time I buy plantains, I will always buy the ripe ones. The ripe ones are more sweeter than the green ones. Mm. That's amazing. All right, the controversy. The reason why I said West Africa is because, guys, just take a bite of it. <laughs> it's got nice. Pop for this. Mm. 
I don't know what makes the difference between Scotch Bonnet and Habanero, but Habanero gives this a really nice good kick to it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Alright, back to the topic of controversy. Is it controversy? I don't think so. Everybody has their twist and take on jollof rice. Mm. There's 17 countries in West Africa there. And I guarantee you 17 of those countries on the west side of Africa knows about jollof rice and have their twist and take on it. Mm. <laughs> Such a weird way of cooking fried chicken. But it's such an awesome way of trying something new and it coming out so awesome. It's pretty much the flavor gets boiled right into the chicken. The frying just gives it a next level crunch to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why guys, but every time there's rice, <laughs> I just caught myself doing it. I don't like eating rice like this. Yeah, it's okay. But I like shoveling it in my mouth. It's the best way to eat rice. Mm. Keep forgetting what I was saying. The controversy about jollof rice. The two countries that pop up from West Africa, Nigeria and Ghana. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times Nigerians and Guyanese is it Ghanaians or Ghanas? Ghanans? Bicker about who has the better job of rice. <laughs> I want you guys to stop bickering back and forth and come after me. <laughs> I want to say I make some good job of rice here. No, I'm kidding. Even though I felt like I added a little more water to it, the grains came out perfect, guys. Mm hmm. Pair with the Ghana fried chicken. Mm hmm. And some fried plantain and coconut oil. Mm hmm. Best thing ever. I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't even like eating rice with a fork. <laughs> Truly a blessing. Mm, 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 mm. OJ for good health. Yep.
Amazing question now. Where can I improve on this gel of rice here? You guys see my ingredients, you guys see my recipe. Take another bite of this. Quick time. Just got it. Nice. I'm super pumped for this. Mm-hmm. Man, I hate the fork. <laughs> The fork, a plate, and rice. I hate it. I hate it. That's probably like the worst combination ever to have or to eat with. Or I just need a bigger fork. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Most amazingest thing ever. I promise you. If you guys have not tried West African food ever in your life, I highly recommend you guys do. Mm. Most amazing thing ever. Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your Food and Life's a Beautiful Thing shirts. Or a pop one. Like, share this. Peace out.